creepy things are living inside of your body right now. They're feeding and they're breeding. Just sit and think about that for a few seconds. Hey there, human hosts, Trace here for DNews. Parasites are everywhere. Ecologist Kevin Lafferty told new scientists there are more than 100 human-specific parasites. They might be inside of you right now. Lafferty says parasites are the most common way to live on planet Earth, and we don't really know a lot about them. Science usually focuses its efforts on searching for what Lafferty calls free living species. And he feels the reason we don't find more parasites is because we're mostly concerned with killing them off. No one likes a mooch, especially not one that causes elephantiasis, like the roundworm of the family Filari. Yikes. If you think of science fiction, no one likes parasites up in there. They take over your brain, like in Stargate SG-1, and they can make you do some weird stuff. Honestly, you guys, this really exists. The green-banded brood sack is a worm that lives in feces of birds. When a snail comes by to feed on the feces, the worm gets sucked up, migrates to the snail's eye stalks, and starts to grow until those stalks look just like a caterpillar, which then birds want to eat. The blockage of their eye stalks keeps the snail from finding shelter from predators, and eventually, a bird will swoop down and eat that little stalk. Yum. In the bird, the parasites grow new until it goes number two again, and then the cycle repeats. Most of the parasites we hear about are worms. Leeches, though, they suck our blood. Tapeworms and roundworms live in your gut, and they steal your nutrients. Nematodes are parasitic worms that infect our feet. This is pretty disgusting, right? But science should try to explore the niceties of a parasitic existence. Seriously, nature's trial and error style of existence can occasionally force organisms to work together for survival. Worms need us, and sometimes we need them too. Aphidius ervi attacks aphids that would normally eat crops, which keeps farmers from having to use pesticides. Do you have allergies? An NYU researcher thinks infecting humans with hookworms might actually cure them. Helminths are small worms, and some research suggests that once inside the body, these little worms actually cause anti-inflammatory responses in humans, and even flick a switch in our immune system that turns off the crazy parts. They've used worms to anecdotally cure chronic diarrhea, ulcerative colitis, and other stranger things. Even leeches are used to draw blood and help skin grafts. Speaking of leeches, not all parasites are microscopic. The remora fish uses a sucker to attach the skin or scales of a larger animal and snack on anything it might leave behind. It's like waiting for table scraps. The animal it's attached to doesn't really have a benefit, but it doesn't have a drawback much either. There are even symbiotic relationships between two organisms. The red-billed oxpecker sits on the backs of larger animals in sub-Saharan Africa and eats the ticks that are biting through the larger fellow's skin which is pretty nice, though they're not really eating the ticks for the tick, instead it's for the blood that the ticks have sucked, so if the animal is wounded, the red-billed oxpecker will peck at that wound, often leaving it open for more parasites to take hold. It's a circle of life! Would you trade infecting yourself with an otherwise harmless worm if it meant getting healthier? Tell us your thoughts in the comments below, and subscribe for more DNews.